In this video, we're going to be going over five common defense mechanisms that you may experience. Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Matthew Poole. I'm an instructor of psychology. Please make sure to subscribe, like the video, share it. And today we're going over those five defense mechanisms that people commonly experience. Number one, we've got denial. So denial is whenever we refuse to accept reality because it is uncomfortable. So individuals can experience denial in a number of ways, but whenever they are presented with information that they don't want to agree with that's accurate within their life, let's say substance abuse difficulties, they may refuse to accept that they are experiencing that because it's uncomfortable uh, to know that they or understand that they are experiencing substance abuse issues. Number two is projection. So you can kind of think of projection like a projector that you cast onto a wall or onto a screen. Projection is whenever you take fill usually about yourself and you cast them onto other people so if somebody is cheating in a relationship they may take those feelings and blame somebody else for uh, cheating or uh, that they are being unfaithful to the relationship also people may experience this whenever they're jealous of others so if somebody is getting a, new, a job promotion or they're in a new relationship or they just get something good in their life, some people may act jealous and be like, oh, they're only getting that because of X, Y, and Z. When in all actuality, although you're pointing the finger at them, there are three still pointing back at you. I know that's a cliche, but I guess it can kind of technically be true because maybe you are the one who's actually wanting to experience what it is that the other individual is, whether that be success fame, etc. Number three is displacement. So displacement is whenever we take inappropriate urges or frustrations and we place them onto a safer target. What I mean by that is let's say that you have a bad day at work, your boss is being a jerk to you, or your teacher is being a jerk to you, your coach, your parent, whatever the case is, what people will do as a result of that, they can't take their unacceptable urges or frustrations and uh, place them onto the actual target at, at hand because the reper repercussions are going to be uh, more severe than if they were to place that onto a safer target. So individuals may redirect that into other outlets of their life, whether it be relationships, friendships, etc. Number four is regression. So what some people may do whenever they have an uncomfortable situation, let's say you get a bad grade on your test or you get into an argument with somebody, what some people may do is utilize regression in the sense they regress back to more so a childlike state to deal with or cope with the situation. So in this regard, they may resort to adult-like temper tantrums. They may do childlike things that they normally wouldn't do, be more impulsive, things like that. Number five, sublimation. Sublimation is actually the healthiest defense mechanism. This is whenever we take inappropriate urges, frustrations, etc., and we redirect them into healthy outlets. So what some people may do is they will go and work out. Exercise is a common outlet for people who need to deal with their frustrations or difficulties that are going on in their life. And that's a lot healthier outlet than utilizing things like displacement, or projection, regression, etc. Defense mechanisms work like an ego protector. You may not even realize that you're engaging in them until you're made known of the fact. So these are five of the common defense mechanisms that people will experience. I want to thank you for tuning in to this episode. Once again, don't forget to hit subscribe, like, and share the video. I'll talk to you soon. Have a great day.